Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Travis here with a currently empty pipe because I'm going to do another tin opening. Um, it is Monday night. I had a busy weekend traveling for Mother's Day, and um, so it's uh, it's been a tiring first day of the week. So I thought I'd enjoy a bowl of a new kind of tobacco. So. Uh, so what I'm going to try tonight is an aromatic, it is the Core Vanilla Ice Pipe Tobacco by McClellan's. Um, Core is a conclave of Richmond Pipe Smoker Selection. So, go ahead and get in here and see if I can do the camera up here while trying to show the tin opening. So, we'll see. Well, this may not be possible. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so let's set the camera back up here. Let's see if it falls. And then we'll pop it open. No vacuum seals. So. so immediately I can see there's all different kinds of colors of tobacco in here. We got uh, just lights and dark browns and black. I imagine this Cavendish. Mm, wow, that's definitely an aromatic. So let's have a look see at it here. So, here's what it looks like. It's got the it's just kind of a ribbon cut. Feels pretty moist, so we'll see how this first smoke goes. But hopefully, it smells good. It smells like just about any other vanilla blend I've um, smoked before. Um, yeah, it's just that loose ribbon cut, so um, I'll give it a try. I'm going to pack up a bowl, or at least a half a bowl here, and um, see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too moist. feels pretty moist, but um, we'll see here in a second and give it a shot. Um, and then I'll come back in a few minutes after I've fired it up and let you know my at least. Hey, everybody. I saw I'm back now. Um, after smoking most of this half bowl of <clears throat> McClellan's Vanilla Ice, or Core Vanilla Ice, and um, it's pretty good. There's, I, I guess I don't really know a whole lot to say about it. I don't, I'm not great at tobacco reviews or anything, but I would say it's exactly what you would expect it to be. It's an aromatic, um, tastes fine. Uh, there's not a really strong tobacco taste that I can really pick up. It's mostly just that sweet aromatic taste. Um, it's probably one of those tobaccos that is great to smoke around other people. Because they'll love the smell of it. And <clears throat> you can definitely... I hate to say this word because it sounds too negative, but you can tolerate the taste of it. It's... It's not bad, but it doesn't jump out at me as being awesome either. So I, I would say it's definitely not any better than the Boswell aromatic blends. Those are the ones that I probably have the best comparison to. It's not any better than the most of the Just For Him uh, blends that I've smoked. The one thing I can say about it that I would say is a good thing is that I haven't been puffing super hard, but I've been puffing hard enough just to see if I could get it to bite, and it, it really hasn't, um, not not at all. I mean, the pipe's gotten a little bit warm. In fact, I probably puffed on it so hard that it um, kind of changed the taste of the tobacco a little bit, where it was, I could tell I had burnt, not burnt, but um, puffed too hard and got it going too hot, but never really bit my tongue, so... So that's a good thing. But yeah, so um, it, if you like vanilla aromatics and or you know that you like to have an aromatic round to smoke in front of people, then this is a fine tin. But also for the price, I would say it's probably just as well to get something from uh, your local tobacconist that you like or from somebody like Boswell's um, that you like just because the price is better. But anyway, there's a little tin opening and mini review opinion 
um, or whatever word you want to place in there for it. So um, until next time, guys, we'll see you later.